Good morning, everyone. It's Jason here at Infinity Property Group at Keller Williams Realty. Um, last night, I'm teaching my class at LA Realty Training, and uh, some of the folks were asking me after class about my schedule. Um, and actually, we were having a little mastermind class on last Tuesday, and we were talking about schedules as well. So I keep a very strict schedule. Um, it's something that I have been working on for the last probably year, year or so at least. Um, and so I was reading some more about it and how I can improve my schedule and make it uh, a little more user friendly for both me and for others uh, so that when I talk about it or pass it on to them, it makes sense and works for them. So basically it starts off with a morning ritual. Um, what I do is I get up same time every morning. Uh, typically it's about five o'clock in the morning and uh, get ready to go to the gym, head to the gym, do my routine, shower, and then come to the office. So there are actually studies that show that high achievers, um, pretty much what they all have in common is that they all have a morning ritual. So whatever your ritual is, figure it out and stick to it. Um, basically, you need to wake up before the insanity starts, before demands are made on you, before goals in the day have, uh, have your competition. And what you wanna do is that will help you achieve work-life balance. And uh, there's some research out there that says it also makes you happier too as well. We all want to. We all want to be happy, don't we? Um, as soon as I get to work, I do the important, important stuff first. Um, there's no one here. If I turn the camera around, you would see the office is absolutely empty. I'm the only one here, and uh, I like it. And I get to the office early on purpose so that I have time to do things that I need to do to get ready for work. Um, even when I get to the office, first thing I do is I read. Uh, I'm work currently working on a book uh, called The Magic that I'm working through. And uh, what a lot of people do is they get to the office and they immediately start getting to busy work. And busy work is typically emails. They feel the need to respond to email. And also you're gonna get into um, meetings as well. Um, there's research out there, and Gary Keller uh, talks about this too in the book, The One Thing, that the, the first two and a half to four hours after you wake up is when your, your brain is the sharpest. And you kind of go, you kind of go like this in, in, in curves as far as energy goes. <clears throat> so the third thing is um, regrouping and getting yourself back together. Typically this happens in the afternoon. Um, some people refer to it as the afternoon brain frog, uh, fog, excuse me. And what happens is uh, either you've been working too hard or you have food coma, or it could just be your natural rhythm. And whatever the case is, you're just sluggish and tired and just ugh. So what you want to do is take a break. Go for a, I recommend going for a walk. Um, you know, if, if it allows, take a nap. I know uh, that seems a little silly. Most people are like, what are you talking about taking a nap? Um, most of the countries in the rest of the world nap in the afternoon. So are they doing something wrong or are we? Mm. Um, you want to keep the rest of the afternoon for busy stuff. That's when you make your meetings and your calls and do the people stuff in the afternoon. Um, when your energy is high is when you want to focus on being creative and challenging work. And when your energy is low, that's when you do the busy work. Um, one of the most important tricks for maximizing productivity is uh, it basically involves matching your mental state at 6 a.m. You're a creator. At 2 o'clock, you're a copier. Uh, it's a perfect match of energy level and mind tasks. Um, and again, I'm not perfect at it, but it is something that I'm currently working on and improving. Um, in the reading I was doing, all these successful people, they all had one really big glaring thing in common. Uh, I'm not saying that this is done every night. However, they all take the evening off. Um, it says that even though successful people work extremely long hours, the great majority of them take the evening on, off to recharge. Now, when some of us think of evening, we're thinking five o'clock. Uh, most of these cases, evening is eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. So don't get that mixed up either. Um, also, it's a great time to go through your schedule and write down your goals for the next day. And um, one of the things, and I, I, I'm gonna read this verbatim because I thought it was fascinating. <clears throat> The things that we choose to reduce stress are often least effective. According to the National American Psychological Association, the most effective stress relief strategies 
are exercising, playing sports, praying, attending religious service, reading, listening to music, spending time with friends or family, getting a massage, going outside for a walk, meditating, or doing yoga. The least effective, and this is what pretty much all of us fall into, is uh, gambling, shopping, smoking, drinking, eating, playing video games, surfing the internet, and watching TV or movies for more than two hours. So that's, I, I was actually struck by that because um, I'll be honest, I love movies. And um, what I thought was really a stress reliever actually wasn't. So, you know, even when you think you're doing the right thing, you do a little bit more reading and research and you find out that you need to tweak what you've been doing. So sum it all up, you wake up, you have a ritual, do your, do your most important things first in the morning. When you get tired in the afternoon, take a nap, go for a walk, re-energize. Save all your meetings and uh, schedule and uh, meetings and schedule and busy work for the afternoon, and then have a relaxing evening and prepare for the next day, writing down your goals. Uh, if you have any questions about this, about uh, my schedule, I actually have a, a really cool schedule that I keep. If you have questions about real estate or anything in general, just reach out to me. My phone number is seven seven four. 696-4293 or shoot me an email at jason at kwipg.com. Thanks for listening and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.